everyone, this is Varsha and you are watching the series of success stories brought to you by Indian Achievers Forum. So once again, we are here with you all to discuss the success story of one more achiever of our and this time we have with us Dr. Ved Prakash Banga who is the director of AQI Zoo. But before we actually start the conversation with him, let's quickly have a look at a very small video telling you about what we actually do. Indian Achievers Forum is driven by a full-fledged advisory board. The board consists of experienced personalities who have excelled in their respective careers. Together, the forum organizes conferences, events, workshops, exhibitions, trade shows and B2B initiatives in India as well as abroad. Where there is passion, there is achievement. And where there is achievement, there is Indian Achievers Forum. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. fine. Right, sir. So before we actually start the conversation, I'm very keen to know uh, if you can please tell us a bit about yourself and also your professional role. Uh, thank you. Thank you Ms. Elias, for, uh, for this conversation and your time. I'm a medical doctor. I passed in 1980. After that, I did modern medicine practice. In 1997, I was trained as per WHS standard uh, in acupuncture. After that, I was trained by various international doctors, various international programs. And after that, I came to, uh, uh, shifted to eye practice with the acupuncture. Only that, I, I am treating only that kind of patients which are reflected to the modern medicine. Patients suffering from the genetic eye disorders. The macular degeneration, atrophy, and retinal degeneration. There is no treatment, no treatment in modern medicine for these kind of loss of vision. And I treated, treated these patients since year 2000. And many, many, many patients are able to see this beautiful world again. Otherwise, they are all in darkness. Even patients which were Going to going to the uh, blind, legally blind, they have been converted. They have been arrested there, and they are okay. All right, sir. So that's lovely. So I actually want to know that what exactly inspired you to you know choose this particular profession for yourself. Basically, acupuncture as a whole is a is a very, very ancient treatment, more than five thousand years. And it has very elaborate, elaborate literature. It has so much large elaborate literature that more than modern medicine. But only thing is that I did shift it slowly to the uh, this eye treatment. It is it was by chance that that I I, I came to the, uh, this this treatment of eyes. I can say it is by luck also. Amazing, sir. So, you know, uh, nothing comes that easy to us and I'm pretty sure that you must have also had certain sort of challenges in your professional journey. So, tell us a bit about those challenges and also the overcomings for the same, please. I am, I am in this profession. I am in this system of treatment. Since the year 2000, about 22 years I have been, since then, I am in this system. Initially, I, it was very difficult to convince my, my fellow practitioners in I that, that I can treat such patients which have been which have been termed as still blind. So slowly over the years, when results came, patients were stable, they it was verified by modern medicine, medicine itself that yes, these patients are able to see this world. Even many young ladies. Uh, which were not finding uh, how to, to, to get to get, they, they, are, they, they are happily paid for years. So this gave me immense satisfaction. Now over the years, this thing has been accepted 
I am. I have been invited by the world over. In 2018, I was invited in the, in the UK the Silver Jubilee Conference of Thelmarist and uh, other other invitations and recognitions. We also encouraged to do this work more. So it takes time. Definitely, it takes time. It, it is long. It takes time. But uh, at the end, uh, I am satisfied, satisfied. Very much satisfied with my class. Lovely, sir. So now moving ahead, uh, if you can please elaborate a bit about the services that you are providing to people out there, please. I care service. The type of, the type of patients suffering with genetic is called retinal dosa. Macular degeneration. We are patient with vision. Retinal dosa. Patient goes slowly, slowly decades, two or three decades. They are slowly. There is no treatment in the model. Other is optic nerve atrophy. The nerve connects the eyes with the brain. Suppose due to injury or some or some other disease as glaucoma, patient and nerve is injured. Nerve is nerve is atrophied. There there is no treatment for that also. We can revive and revive. We have revived uh, this nerve. And document documented proof of that, and patients are stable more so than fifteen, sixteen years. This optic nerve atrophy also. So these th three type of blindness: optic nerve atrophy, retinal degeneration, retinitis pigmentosa, and macular degeneration. I am success successfully treating with confidence. Amazing, sir. So now moving ahead and talking about the future, you know, everyone do have some plans for their future, whether for the individuals or as like for the company. So, if you can please share a bit of those plans with us that you are having in the near future. Yes, I have other plans. First of all, I am writing a book on this subject, so it has uh, this sort of reaches reaches to the millions all over the world. Second, I want a big hospital, eye hospital. Only based on this technique, these two plans are. And I wish you all the success for all these plans of yours, sir. So now, uh, moving ahead, and uh, you know, talking about this Atmanirbhar Bharat campaign. Now, everyone is very well aware of this fact, like how important it is to become Atmanirbhar. So, what do you have to say on this concept of becoming, and uh, also how is your uh, organization working towards this? Yes, this is a lovely concept, and uh, definitely, definitely, country becomes more confident when you are self-sufficient in the health needs of the masses. And it is good that government is thinking on this. I have been working on the over drugs since 1990. I I fought in fought a legal case in the Delhi High Court and various articles, including Hindu Sun Times, published my story. And many of the my recommendation have been accepted by the government about the to lower the price of the drugs. I am I am uh, 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 amazed by this uh, accepting, accepting of this recommendation. So now moving ahead, and as you know that uh, you know uh, just a few days back we all have celebrated the seventy fifth year of independence, which is famously known as um, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. So what do you have to say on this? As in how far we have come, and what is your vision pertaining to this? Uh, I have been advising on the on the. Condition of the health, health of the country. Currently, our prime minister and what this present government uh, are attached with the health of the millions people who can't believe. But side by side, increasing medical policies, accepting the Ayurveda, and uh, giving more uh, scope, scope to the Ayurveda, and also this medical policies. But uh, side by side, I feel. That professionals who are training the doctor as professors, either they are difficult to find, uh, difficult to figure, mature the doctor to who train the doctors. So this type of thing, thing, this type of maturity required for the training of the doctors first came kept in mind to increase the number of seats in the medical. Court. What what I feel. Otherwise, government is in direction. Ayurveda scientifically. 
proven homeopathy and even yoga is very well uh, recognized and it, and it is good that government has take, taken this i think is def mar- marvelous concept of the world now uh, you know comes the question which i personally love to ask our awardees and that is uh, what are your feelings on winning this indian achievers award definitely one feels uh, satisfied and then one work is reward even you do self selflessly but once you you are recognized you and your family my wife my, my kids they they are also doctors they that is why that work has, work has been recognized world over and i'm really uh, feel uh, good proud and uh, satisfied with this and i must say that you are truly an inspiration to everyone sir so now moving ahead and talking about this social contribution of us though your profession itself is very well contributing towards the society but apart from this also are there any other services that you are you know giving from your end as csr or something working for years on or page decks any other issue roots the patient roots the patient even misleading advertisement i i i for the case on this also and uh, at the platform in dm and dm also i i show, show, i did that did that if any if any poor patient comes and he first first is he must he is, he is really kind of for the treatment i i gave you gave you table contribution on my my side or free also but he, but he should be really work requiring requiring that, that 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 type of care so any other uh, i want to tell tell for the patient some other guidance i i do it in the corona time also i give my service to the uh, free of free to the patients for many months amazing sir so now last but surely not the least uh, what message or mantra you would like to give to our younger generation to become successful in their careers definitely first is ethical always remain ethical in practice even, even you are not understood by the government by the bureaucrats by the public remain remain ethical one day you will win and uh, be calm remain calm in the adversities definitely and uh, money, money comes as a by product for this profession uh, you should not run after the money money always comes your needs are all met but i this teach to my students they are both medical students so i see that if you doctor follows this code it is sufficient for both patients and doctors and as a general for society lovely piece of advice i must say sir so thank you so very much for joining with us today it was pleasure talking to you and i wish you all the success for all your future endeavors as well and may you continue to inspire us the way you are doing thank you so very much for joining thank you madam thank you so much